Tents that were supposed to house asylum seekers in Brighton Park are nearly down, but the city is still paying for the lease of the space. This, while sources tell us that once those tents are removed, they'll be moved to another space at 115th and Halstead. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza has been following every development and digging for answers. She's live now in our newsroom. Sabrina. Well, the mayor's office, they just told us that they're in talks with the owners of the site about the lease they have at 38th and California. That's a lease that's costing $91,400 a month trying presumably to get out of it. It's not clear how much this is all costing the city, especially when you account for the setup and dismantling of Garter World tents that were never used in Brighton Park. The grand total of that Garter World contract, almost $30 million. We went back and read it and saw the contract lists a cost proposal for the setup and breakdown of outdoor soft sided lodging for up to 1400 people for almost $600,000. We don't know if that amount was paid in full. The city's website doesn't list any payments made to Garda World at all. The city told us the state handled that portion since the state has their own contract with the security company Garda World. We're also trying to find out if that cost includes any fixes the city made while trying to solve the environmental issues found in the site's soil, like when they covered a huge lot with inches of gravel. Then there's a new way to possibly make more money. A committee today voted to approve an ordinance that would impound buses that drop off migrants without alerting the city on the where and when. The fees are supposed to encourage buses to comply with the rules that have been in place for weeks. The full city council is expected to vote on that Wednesday. Since that time, there has uh, proven to be a lack of compliance uh, with uh, that requirement. And so this ordinance simply adds uh, an impoundment option as a way to uh, better encourage compliance. All of this is happening while we wait for more environmental testing to be done in Morgan Park. That's at the site of the proposed migrant tent base camp there at 115th and Halstead. We're told that would be done by today, though the alderman has not received the results yet, and we will keep following up. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.